A very good morning. Today it is Wednesday, September the 29th, 2021. Welcome to another science class. Today we will review what do I know about energy. Good morning. How is everybody today? It is science time. And today we are going to review what do we know about energy. So today is Wednesday, September 29th or September the 29th. And it's all about what do I know about energy. So before we start, we will do a few vocabulary words and then we will proceed with our lesson. Okay, we have four vocabulary words today. I've written them down here on the board. The first one, C-O-M-P-R-E-S-S-E-D. Compressed. Compressed. Well, I have an example here. You can see this one. It's a spring from a pen. Okay, right now it is in its original shape. Right? If I hold it like this, it's in its original shape. But if I squeeze it together, which is difficult to do, but when I squeeze it together, I compress the spring. It means I make it smaller. And if I let it go, it will go back to its original shape. So when you compress something, in this case the spring, you squeeze it, you make it smaller. Okay. You can also compress, for example, a plastic bottle. You squeeze it together, make it smaller. The only thing is the bottle will not return in its original shape. So compress means squeeze together, make smaller. Number two, T-O-A-S-T-E-R. Toaster, toaster. I like toast, do you like toast? Right, what is toast? Toast is like bread, you put in an electrical appliance and then you turn it on and the heat will make the bread crunchy. So that machine that you put the bread in is called a toaster. There's a picture of one in the science book. Maybe you have one at home. We used to have one but it had an accident and started to smell really bad so we need to buy a new one. But a toaster is a machine to make your bread crunchy into toast. Number three, P-E-T-R-O-L, P-E-T-R-O-L, petrol, petrol. What is petrol? Petrol you buy at the gas station, you put it in your car and then the car engine will burn the petrol and allows the car to drive. So this is the smells bit bad maybe you have uh, your parents have a car and then when you go to the gas station they fill the car up with petrol it smells really bad right so that is petrol the stuff you put in the car and the last one number four f o r m s forms forms okay instead instead of this word you can use types or kinds so different forms of energy, different types of energy, different kinds of energy. It just means there's electrical energy, that's one form. You have potential elastical energy, that's another form. You have gravitational energy, that's another form. Those are all energy forms. Okay? So later when we answer the questions about what do I know about energy, we will see these words so you know what they mean. So one more time, number one, compressed, C-O-M-P-R-E-S-S-E-D. Number two, toaster, T-O-A-S-T-E-R, toaster. Number three, petrol, P-E-T-R-O-L, petrol. And number four, forms, F-O-R-M-S, forms. Okay, let's have a look at our lesson for today. 
Okay, for our lesson of the day, we will go to page number 81 of our science book. Page number 81, that is this page. At the top it says, what have I learned about energy? So page 81. Now at the top of the page, in the pink section, you see words and we need to fill in the correct word on the blanks. Let's read those words first. So we start from left to right. The first one is light. Light. The second one, radios. Radios. Then kinetic. Kinetic. Electrical, electrical, sun, sun, energy transformation, energy transformation, chemical, chemical, energy, energy, heat, heat, sound sound and the last one elastic potential elastic potential now let's have a look at the questions and see if we can find the correct words to fill in on the blanks okay let's start with number one blank is the ability to do work well, you can look back at page number, page number where it starts, the first page of energy, that is page number, or the second page actually, 72. And then A, forms of energy. And there you see your answer. We cannot see or touch energy, however, we can see the effects of energy. Energy is the ability to do work. Okay, so number one should be energy. So you fill in number one, energy. With a big letter because it's the first word of the sentence. So number one, energy is the ability to do work. Okay, so fill in the answer. Then number two. Remember, all moving objects have what kind of energy? Remember, the bigger the object, the heavier the object, the more of this energy it has. Can you remember which one? Look at the words. Right, kinetic. All moving objects have kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy that moving objects have. So number two, you fill in kinetic. Kinetic. Okay, number three, there is that word from the vocabulary, compressed. What kind of energy does a compressed spring have? So look at the words. Does it have electrical energy? No. Does it have chemical energy? No. What kind of energy does it have? It has, right, elastic potential energy. So we write elastic potential So when we compress the spring, it has elastic potential energy. When we release it, we will release the energy. Okay, so one more time. Number one, energy is the ability to do work. Number two, all moving objects have kinetic energy. Number three, a compressed spring stores elastic potential energy. Okay, let's do number four, five and six. Okay, number four. The petrol in cars contains mm -hmm, energy. 
So you can look back in your book. What kind of energy does petrol have? It's the same energy that people use when we eat food. Our food also contains this energy. We have to change it inside our body. Do you remember how we call this energy? Right, chemical energy. So petrol contains chemical energy. We need to burn it in order to get the energy out. So number four is chemical. Chemical. Okay, number five. Some kind of energy allows us to see the things around us. Hmm, I think you know this one. What do we need? When it's dark, we need something to see the things around us. Right, we need light. So, the answer is, number five, light energy. With a big letter, because it's the first word of the sentence. Light energy allows us to see the things around us. Okay, number six. This should, you should remember this from last week, because last week our lessons was, uh, were about this. The change of a form of energy into other forms. Remember, when energy changes into other forms, we call that... Look at your words you have left. Transformation, right? So, energy transformation. So, you have to write small because there's not a lot of space there. Energy transformation. So, that is number six. Energy transformation is the change of a form of energy into other forms. So one more time, number four, the petrol in cars contains chemical energy. Number five, light energy allows us to see the things around us. And number six, energy transformation is the change of a form of energy into other forms. Okay, let's look at the next four. Okay, number seven. We need to put two answers there. Solar panels change light energy from the mm -hmm, into energy. So, what do solar panels do? They change the energy from the, remember, from the sun, right? Solar means sun. So, the energy from the sun and changes that into what kind of energy? Electrical energy, right? So it changes the energy from the sun into electrical energy. So the sun will shine on the panels and the panels have chemical reaction and change the sunlight into electrical energy. Okay, then number eight Remember, we talked about the toaster. What does the toaster do to make the bread into toast? Ions in toasters change electrical energy into... Right, heat. They use heat energy. The toaster to make the bread into toast and the iron to make your clothes nice and smooth. So, number eight, heat energy. Okay, then number nine. Televisions or TVs change electrical energy into light energy and, you know this, right, sound, right? Because we want to hear the sound also from the TV. So the light makes, you, make, makes it able for you to see and the sound makes it able for you to hear. So, sound. Sound energy. Televisions change electrical energy into light and sound energy. Now, then we have one more word left. And that word changes electrical energy into sound energy when we turn them on. 
and that is right there's only one word left radios so we buy big letter because it's the first word of the sentence okay one more time number seven solar panels change light energy from the sun into electrical energy number eight ions and toasters change electrical energy into heat energy number nine televisions change electrical energy into light energy and sound energy that's number nine and the last one number ten radios change electrical energy into sound energy when we turn them on okay fill in the answers and then we are finished with what have I learned about energy so tomorrow we will do an activity a science activity but I will tell you about that tomorrow okay that's it for today as I said tomorrow we will have a science activity uh, first I will see you in the afternoon at 1 p.m. for our zoom class okay so see you in the afternoon